Hello everyone, I'm here to provide a quick tip on something that is very useful early game and something that can help you out a lot in getting a lot of resources uh, when starting your modded Minecraft world. So this is called a sag mill and if you have Ender IO, this is something you will need or I think you will need in your world. I still use this late game but it is super helpful early game. So this is the basic setup for ore processing input chest transfer node inputs in into the sag mill and this is my output chest so basically the sag mill works like a pulverizer or a crusher um, but it also has these catalysts just like a pulverizer but um, in my opinion this catalyst right here the dark steel ball is super helpful um, in trying to obtain a lot of resources as you can see the main output is increased by 150 percent bonus output 200 percent and it reduces the power that you use uh, while utilizing this machine so basically it's gonna come like this and you just power it and then you can have these capacitors to increase the speed and uh, increase the amount of RF that you can contain in this machine so the oct octatic whatever capacitor is the highest tier capacitor in Ender IO and it may take a little while to get um, if you don't have the resources I'm just gonna show you the crafting recipe so it takes two double R capacitors, which are pretty easy to get, and vibrant alloy. Vibrant alloy utilizes the alloy smelter in an ender pearl and an inner energetic alloy. And energetic alloy is created by pretty common uh, resources that you'll get early game in an um, alloy smelter. So let's go back to the double layer. Double layer, layer, we just looked at the energetic alloys, and then basic capacitors are super easy to make. So these capacitors are not hard to get early game. Um, and it's just super helpful when um, trying to get ores due to these uh, catalysts right here. So I already showed you dark steel balls. There's also flint, which increases your main output and bonus output. Not near as much as a dark steel ball, but if you can't make dark steel balls early game, um, then flint is also very acceptable. Um, the way you make dark steel balls is you put them in an alloy smelter with pulverized coal, iron ingots, and obsidian that'll make dark iron or dark steel and then you put them in a crafting grid like that and you'll get five dark steel balls so they're very simple to make very easy to come by so I'm just gonna pop these in here and the, the main ore that I love using this machine is redstone so I'm just gonna put five in here oh wait that's not five there's five because it's processing this is the normal speed I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a capacitor just to uh, for time purposes so this gets this makes it up really quick I have a I have a speed upgrade in this transfer node to really uh, pull the items out because this segment will produce a lot of items so I threw in five redstone ore and I made a stack in four redstone from five redstone ore so that is insane you will not get near as much as you if you use a fortune three pick um, or any other machine and then I'm gonna throw in five five nether redstone and I'm gonna show you what happens we're just gonna let this do its business and you like look just watch right here 30 30 I, I didn't look at that last one but as you can tell three stacks of redstone from five nether redstone yeah you're set for life using this machine if you have dark steel balls that is insane it works with all other ores you will increase the secondary outputs super useful when uh, creating enderium because you need to get shiny metal ore uh, from Ferris and this helps increase your secondary output so you'll get probably a lot more than you would using uh, other methods although using cinnabar and Ferris in an induction smelter is much better so as you can see I just got some shiny metal which is used to make endearing but that's more late game but I just wanted to show you how useful this machine is the resources needed to make it are like nothing I'm gonna show you the crafting recipe right now so it just takes iron a piston some flint and then this machine chassis or whatever you, how you pronounce it which just takes a little bit more iron and then some gold nuggets and then a copper and then redstone just super simple to make super easy to make and um, it gives you so much output and this is something that you definitely need at the beginning of your world I wish I knew it I discovered it more late game when I started using Ender IO more often Ender IO is a super cool mod super cool machines and um, 
it's something that you really need to look into um, for some really cool items. So the sag mill is a really cool item. The alloy smelter, not needed, but it is needed for these dark steel balls. Um, it is super helpful when constructing other things like uh, jet packs. You can make basically Ender IO jet packs, which um, are much easier to make than these uh, other jet packs by Simply Jet Packs. So, Simply Jet Packs, you know, you got your normal leadstone and hardened jet packs, reinforced jet packs, all that stuff, but you can also make like special jet packs using Ender IO alloy smelting. So, this is like um, a leadstone jet pack. Whoops, that's not the crafting recipe. This is like a leadstone jet pack. So, you use conductive iron, which is made in a alloy smelter with iron and redstone super easy to get and then to make these uh, thrusters um, it just takes some redstone alloy which is an um, induction smelter with iron and redstone and then these conduit binders which are very easy to make just clay sand and gravel so these are uh, actually the better alternative to uh, leadstone jet packs I would recommend trying to make these type of jet packs before I would recommend these jetpacks over these jetpacks any day. Yeah. So I, yeah. I hope you enjoyed. I got a little too far, too far into it. Uh, the jetpacks was just like a tangent. I just wanted to emphasize the importance of the sag mill and um, yeah, how helpful it can be in early game. Hope you enjoyed. Hope it helps. And yeah, take care.